Okay, so let's take a final look at Roger now. And what we'll do is we'll have a look at the lighting and some of the materials. So we're gonna do something called subsurface scattering on his skin and then get the scene to be lit as you can see it here on screen right now. Okay, so we're gonna start with an unlit scene. So let me zoom out and you'll see what we've got. So we've still got that in the background, which is our sketch. We don't need that anymore, so that's gone. And I've just put a plane, this, 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 um, this bit basically is just a plane that's been bent. So I literally just added a plane. So it's add um, and then plane from here. And that little plane that you see in there, I just basically scaled that up and then masked it at one end and bent it. So we don't need to show any more of that. It's just that you know what that is. And this here, the circle in the background is just a cylinder and we've been making them in the video. So you should be well okay to make those. Now there is no lighting in the scene whatsoever. So you can see here, there's no lights whatsoever. I've deleted everything that I was using before. And we've got one, what we call a HDRI. So these are the HDRIs or high dynamic ranges images and these are the things that light the overall scene and we can rotate them around with three fingers like that uh, but the, the actual power in the lighting is going to come from our individual scene lights that we put in ourselves so before I do that I want to change a mode for some of these parts of the body I want to change it to what's called subsurface scattering so I want it on the head let me just have a look at which parts I want it on I, do, I don't want it on the hand. I do want it on the, let me think, just want it on the body, on the top of the body there. And do I want it on the feet like that? So do all of them and come up to the top here and switch from opaque to subsurface there. And that basically gives me um, a really nice subsurface finish to the, to the, um, to, to the skin now the eyes are wrong as you can see but we did merge them all didn't we so what we might have to do there is come back in and come to it's called box but it's actually the head and we'll just use separate and now the eyes are separate again so click on them and we can switch those eyes back to opaque and you can see there that solves that problem for us straight away um, and the nose actually now that's split out again <clears throat> excuse my throat we can put that back and we'll say that one's opaque as well and everything else is fine and the reason we do that uh, subsurface scattering is like light coming through skin you'll see it coming through the ears and it'll make it much more like realistic skin once we get to that part so with that in mind we'll turn the high dynamic range down now i'm going to pick a new one here i'm going to pick this one which is just a, a, a pinky purpley sky that i've got but you can put anything you want in the background. It, it really doesn't matter. And I'll knock the exposure for now right down. I like this one because it gives me like a pinky um, magic hour effect. This bit at the bottom is just an error, by the way, this 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 tiny bit here. So you can just smooth that out um, if you happen to make a mistake on the plane. Simply just holding smooth. So let's quickly work through it then. So first of all, I want a number of lights. So to get the subsurface scattering right, I'm going to add the light or a light. I'm going to put it just with using um, uh, the, the gizmo. Um, you, it, but basically, it start when it when it comes in, it will come in like a directional light, which means you you can't use the gizmo. So you need either point or spotlight. So we'll use point, and you can see how crazy now that is. That's that's pushing light right the way through these you know, through the skin, it's making it much more like wax and we don't want that. So what we do want is to make that a little bit warmer, a little bit pinker, or maybe even towards the orangey. And we'll also bring that intensity right down. So um, select it again and bring that intensity down. Now what we'll do is we'll change that as time goes on, but that's that's more than enough for now. Um, that that will that will give us um, the, the the push through of the of the subsurface scattering um, is more than enough with that one. Um, I will actually make it a bit lighter, like so. And you can see it pushing through on the arms, the ends of the the arms, and and around the you know the the, the edges of the ears. And and if it isn't right and you want it to be stronger, 
you can go up here and you can go into where your settings for it are. So we'll be on the head and we'll go to subsurface and we can make it deeper. So you see how, see how the head gets brighter and brighter? So each part with subsurface switched on, you can either do translucency, which we don't want to do, or you can change the depth. So if you feel, for example, a good example would be the ears, they might want to have a different depth than anything else so that the light really pushes through those ears. And as you can see, that makes a real big difference for, for the ears. You'll see it more as we add more lights. <clears throat> so, going to add a couple more lights now. So we're going to go in and we'll add um, the next one. Make it same as we did before. Make it into a, a different a different light. So we'll call this one a spotlight. We'll bring it to the front. Rotate it round. Going to position it up a little bit, like so, and probably a little bit too um, powerful at the moment. So what we want to do is knock the intensity down and we want to put the softness right up and you can see it there what happened there it softened the edge right up and again probably just bring it around the front here something like that on there so that's one done and what we'll do is instead of do it, doing doing uh, another we'll just clone that one so hit on it and clone it Move that across, rotate it around, and maybe down for this one. So we want some up lighting with this one. This is essentially what's called a three-point rig. So we've got what's called a key light and a fill light already. So one's the key light. This is the fill light. This is key light here. This is fill light here. So light from one side, then light from the other. Just moving them around as, I, as I'm locating them. And then we need one more that's called a rim light for the back. So we'll do another one. We'll clone that one. And then we'll move it right to the back here. And we'll have it, you can't have it behind this thing. So this might have to go back a little bit. And then we'll have it come in something like that here maybe a bit more down like that and we'll change that one to um a different color so let's go with either an orangey or or maybe you no know, actually we'll go an opposite color to the to the yellow so we'll go into the blues and greens something like that just to give us a little bit of a transition there and that has really ramped it up already that's really changed the, the 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 look but it's still not right so now we've got to play with each one because we need the shadows to be right in the background so let's change this one and bring it down out of the way and we'll actually change its color a little bit something like that and now we're starting to see the shadows more as you can see you can see if i move this round you can see those shadows a lot better now so we can really work with you know what we've got here um, and, and get a really nice shadow. So now what we can do is if I just move that other light again and move it even further down out of the way, you'll start to see that the shadows um, let's move the sphere a little bit smaller. There we go. And then this one, if I play with it now, you'll see the shadow moving around. You can see it moving all around, well, the light moving around, sorry. And then the shadow would be moved basically from the third, the other one, which is here. So let's move that around. Let's move the HDRI around now. We'll just make sure that that we can just use the rotation from here just to change the lighting a little bit with that. And as we bring the intensity of the lighting right down, the other lights really start to pop a little bit. So now we've got too much on this one. So we're going to bring this one away a little bit. It's still playing with that idea of the shadow in the background. So now we'll change the color of this one and we'll go redder. So watch 
watch the shadow in the background so as I go whiter so we, you want a nice somewhere in the middle like so and you can now see that subsurface scattering coming through on the, on his ears really really well so carry on keep moving these things around so remember this light over the side I don't think we did enough with this one so let's bring this around to make it wider so it gets all the side of it and then want it a little bit higher like that something like that and now if all that's right what we can do now is we can bring that hdri back up a little bit to give us a scene and if it starts to blow out by blow out i mean everything's too white there then go in and knock down the intensity slowly on the other ones that you've that you've been doing so you'll find that one or two of them are really really strong so we'll take this one and bring the intensity right down on that one not not all the way down obviously and then this one from the back maybe even change the color a little bit here and that one i don't mind so much if we go a little bit higher with this one so you can you can see here one at the back isn't isn't our problem it's not causing us any major problem so i'll keep moving the lights a little bit if you three finger roll you'll move all the lights so you can just move them a little bit to test and then if that's working maybe bring this back a little bit maybe this one forward a little bit look at the shadow on the floor that's amazing isn't it and then the one that's causing me the problem is this bright one here. So we'll move that up and bring its, its intensity right down. Like so. And that should, in theory, give us what we want. You can see that, basically, you can see the shadow on the background there. Make that a bit more intense. so just playing with the colors one by one until we get we, we get a lock off on this and eventually you'll get them all if you carry on tweaking you'll get them to a position that you really like so let's just open up the one we started with to make sure we can see where we ended up okay can you see how red and how dark we made that that last light that's the front light there and we really, really pushed the colour on that one. Now, as it happens, it's quite, you can see it makes a big difference if you move it around. So getting get that colour, whether it's anywhere from white to red to yellow, you know, if depending on the, the colour you want in this background here, in the lighting in the background, that's pretty much what you're going for. So just play with all the settings that I've shown you there. And eventually you'll get to a point where you'll get the, you know, you don't want it too red like that. You don't want it fiery red like so, but you do want some colour in your shadows in the background, something more like that. And that really makes him cartoony and makes him stand off the page. I hope you're enjoying these videos, and if you are, please give us a thumbs up, because it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of content. And if you like the content, then please subscribe to the channel, because it does help us to keep growing and building, and that means we can bring you more content. Have a great week, everyone.